Hi, I'm Rich Verma, the U.S. Ambassador to India. Food is one of my passions, and that's why today I'm going to spend the afternoon with a couple crazy guys who claim to have had more types of food than anyone in India. They've eaten their way across India, in fact, and you know them, Rocky and Mayor. And I couldn't be more excited to be joining them. That's why I'm going to have a cup of tea for breakfast, because I'm going to try to keep pace with them as we collectively eat our way across New Delhi this afternoon. Good to see you, Ambassador. Yeah. How are you? Long time. Please. Good. Thank you. You're looking in great shape. I'm ready to keep up with you guys, so this will be fun. Wonderful. We've yeah. taken the liberty of ordering you a drink. That's a Sattu cooler. Great. Cheers. 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 Tell us uh, how you like it and then we'll, okay. we'll see what the rest of the meal is going to look like. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. What's in this? It's chickpea powder. Okay. Roasted chickpeas, they powder it and they put a whole bunch of spices. Now the beauty of this is that if you drink this, you'll never have to worry about heat stroke or sunstroke. It really cools the okay. whole body I could have used this in May <laughs> and June. <laughs> We'll send over a whole stock. Okay. That's it's, how I stay so cool. <laughs> now, I've heard you love food. Yeah. It's, how did that happen? My mom uh, was a fixture mm. in the kitchen, uh, her grandmother the same way. And I think the biggest fear of my mother was that someone was hungry in our house. <laughs> So or she, the biggest opportunity. Or the biggest opportunity. Yeah. So she was, uh, she was a permanent fixture in, in the kitchen. I very clear memories of the tava for the chapatis and, yeah. and rotis and the pressure cooker on our stove that was going uh, all day. Are you familiar with Bihari food, for example? Not so much. So should we, should we order for you? You should. Oh, yes, good. Thank you. Because we already did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the food should be coming. Bihari cuisine is one of the most underestimated cuisines of India. And that's why we started off with this first, because it deserves its place in the sun. No, it's great. And I'm, fam I'm familiar with um, a lot of different foods of India. You know, I've been here in India for about 10 and a half months. Already taken some 27 trips around the country, wow. from the northeast in Assam down to the south in Kerala, back to Punjab where my parents and grandparents are from. So I've tasted a lot of different food and it's been really a special part of my travel outside of all the diplomatic stuff we've had to do. But here's what we always say, the food is fantastic but the food of Punjab is... Yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm partial. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm partial to that. Alu ka parantas. Do you still have dreams about alu ka parantas once in a while? I do. That was something that carried over into our experience in the United States, too. Every Sunday, that was the brunch meal in our house. The alu ka parantas. Yeah. And, you know, when my grandmother cooked, there was no stove, uh, no electric stove, no refrigerator. She cooked on the open fire. Important question. Yeah. Have you learned how to make Indian food as yet? Nothing. Not even no, a no, 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 I'm a terrible <laughs> cook. Uh, I, I actually can cook, but once you're, you get used to your mother, your grandmother's cooking, it's yeah. pretty hard to um, try to impersonate replicate. that or replicate that. So I haven't let's really face tried. It, you'll never be as good as they are. No, I know that already. <laughs> That's why I haven't tried. If you don't watch out, over the next few years, you might end up looking like this. You guys look pretty good, though. So you <laughs> Thank look you. good. Yeah. You're supposed to be nice to guests. You yes. can't tell them you're going to, they're going to look like you. Look at that. He's never going to eat with us again. So as a vegetarian, I'm really pleased to see that despite having all that meat, you're enjoying the chana dal with the lentils a lot, the spices. It's excellent. Yeah. It's actually very, very flavorful. You know, it goes well with the other um, dishes here. So it's a perfect Good. mix. And it's a rice. beautiful thing because that's what sort of brings the whole country together. Yeah. There is always one dal or lentils in every meal, in every culture of this country, no matter yeah. where you come from. I was a, a picky eater as a kid, and I still remember my mom sitting there with the yellow dal, the rice. I was a very picky eater too. Whenever I saw food, I'd pick it up and I'd eat it. I got into a lot of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my grandmother would live with us. She was a great cook. And funny story, we had a pear tree in front of our house, and normally those pears would just fall to the ground. We would use some of them, but most of them would go to waste. She made it her mission to use every single pear. And soon we had pear pickles. Pear curry, pear sabzi, <laughs> pear desserts, pear was in everything. <laughs> but I think the other thing that you really enjoy is the chicken. Yeah. It's called khara masala chicken. Okay. You no, know, it's not something you can get in the U.S. I'll tell you, um, butter chicken has taken off in the U.S. Yeah. as the signature kind of Indian uh, chicken dish. You can almost get it anywhere now. Is that a lot of fun for you to come back to India and then suddenly have 
all these things available at a, at a whim. Along with an American dish, that would obviously get introduced into it. But now coming back and having this every day, right, it's, um, <laughs> it's a real treat. I think that America would be really surprised when they came down to India and saw the election in Bihar, for example, right yeah. now. <laughs> Have you seen some of those elections? I've seen. Do you, you enjoy know, those? I mean, that's the dance of the Indian what, that's democracy. The, um, we are so similar in so many ways when you think about these big loud democracies that we have, this federal system that we have, big state elections, state elections matter in our system, not as much as in your system where, think of the number of people that are going to vote oh just God. in this election, yeah. it's unbelievable, the scale of it. It's a big party. There are thousands of people on the street, there's music, there's dancing, there's pamphlets being distributed, everybody's involved. It is, it's a cultural experience actually. Well, you know what's uh, great about that is, mm. Just having seen the change in the United States, for example, and the amazing amount of Indian music, Indian culture, Indian food, Indian restaurants, Indian film, Indian literature. I mean, this we call this, uh, you know, a form of soft power. This is another area that brings our two countries together. This is called a litti. I see you have okay. one of those. Yeah, so what's inside of it? So it's, it's stuffed with spiced flour of roasted chickpeas. Okay. If you ever meet anybody from Bihar, all the way down from a politician to a common wow. person, the litti choka is a very unifying factor. That's delicious. Yeah. Now that you've tried everything here, yeah. any favorites? Uh, I'll tell you after you pass me the dal, because <laughs> that's been my favorite oh. so far. It we don't need to taste all that here, because mm. now that we've whetted your appetite, <laughs> there's another part of India we want to go and take Great. you to, Great. to sample their food. And I can't wait for you guys to come to the U.S., because uh, you'll see a similar tradition of different kinds of regional specialties depending on where you go, mm. from south to west to northeast. And it's, so again, it's another similarity between our two countries. Wasn't that fun? That was terrible. How many people can you fit in that thing? It wasn't that many. No, it was not. Go, 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 Next go, time we go, take go, the go, sedan. Go, go. Let's go eat. Yeah. You start with something sweet. Yes. I, I like it. I like this way of starting the food. Yeah. You enjoy. Thank you. In Thank Canada, you it's very called much. Enjoy Muddy. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy Muddy. Thank you. <laughs> These uh, are called rava idlis. Yeah. Now, idlis are yeah. well known uh, yeah. everywhere in the world. Yeah. But these, uh, again, are made with semolina and they have a whole bunch of fresh vegetables and stuff in them. And Afro these Afro. are called paddu. Now, okay. these are uh, made of a mixture of rice, lentil, and semolina flour. And then it's put in these little cups. The varas you may already yeah. be familiar with. Right. Especially in the south, which is where all this food is yeah. from Karnataka, Mysore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and other states like Kerala, yeah. there's even a particular order in which you eat all your food. Okay. But you know, they use a lot of things like turmeric, for example. It's okay. great for the brain. Yeah. It's uh, it's proven to, to lower things like yeah. occurrences of Alzheimer's and things like that. This may be a little bit more than you used to, but as you can tell, we've been here and, and our reputations precede us. <laughs> this is what we normally get fed every time we go to a place. People now, bring out everything. If you make your way through all of this, I'll be really impressed. <laughs> So what are what are the three doses we have here? Uh, what what I've got here is uh, it's called a Maleshwaram 18th cross. Okay. Very popular. It's a street name in Bangalore, and the reason why it's called that is because it has this very lively red sort of paste inside. Wow. Spice and peanut, and, and I'm glad you asked because unless you ask this man, he doesn't share the food. <laughs> <laughs> no, All no, that no. On his side of the table would have been his food if he had not. So. So typically. A dosa can be had any time. This one is a is a ragi dosa. It's called the finger millet. It's a very healthy grain wow. and very wholesome. And what's going to surprise you is that you take a couple of bites of this and it's gone. So it's <laughs> not really as much as you think it is. Okay. Not everybody eats like that. Take a couple of bites yeah, and, and it's gone. gone. <laughs> right. Some of us take like small bites and right. eat like human beings. Right. Right. <laughs> well, right. whatever, please, right. please. And this this last one here. So this one's called the penne kali dosa. Here, you please try one. Penne means butter and kali means kali means empty. So it's funny. It's an oxymoron because it's loaded with butter, but it's empty inside. Okay. <laughs> and it's definitely not empty of calories. Okay. So I suggest we hurry up and finish all of this because the next place we go to has 22,000 items on the menu. Only 22,000. <laughs> I think we can handle it. I'm looking forward to that. First, we got to get through all of this. Yeah. So, gentlemen, I suggest we finish up and then we move on to the next place. Wow. So, there's a lot to go through right here. So, okay. 
I'm a diplomat, you guys, not a professional eater like, uh, <laughs> like you guys. So maybe we should come back next week to try the other two places. What do you think? I've spoken like a true food lover. Good. So Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, we had a great time. And uh, so, so, so next Sunday it is we'll then? We'll see you next Sunday. We'll do the food of the north of India and we'll do the food of the west of India. Can't wait. So we've just covered the east and the south. Okay, and I won't eat for the next seven days. <laughs> <laughs> getting, getting ready for that experience.